Carl, how, how was it having to having to sit a game out, especially after the frustrating way in which you've been sent off a few days before? Yeah, no, massively frustrating. Um, I'm the type of guy who wants to play every game possible and help the team as much as I can. But um, in in a way, it's probably going to benefit me with the amount of games. And it's been Saturday, Tuesday constantly. Also, then we had Friday, Monday as well. So um, I think in the long run, it will benefit me. But it was just frustrating how it happened and. It's just a frustration for a few weeks with me, for the referees, uh, what what the story is between it all. But it is what it is and it's gone and we've got to move on from that and get ready for this next game. Yeah, what, 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 what do you mean by that then? What, what's, what's been kind of going on with that? Is it kind of is something building a bit? You've been getting a bit frustrated with uh... Yeah, just every week I sort of. I think, well, the boys definitely notice it as well. Um, and I've seen a few of the fans saying it to me as well about the referees just being not very fair with me. Um, being pretty even with the defenders and giving the defenders a benefit of the doubt. Um, and the other day, obviously the boy, he got a cut on his head, like I had no intention, I'd never have an, int an intention to hurt anybody. Um, but at the end of the day, I won the ball, it was a 50-50 to go for and I'm, I'm never going to give anything up. So it was just one of them things that can happen in football and I wish him all the best, I hope he's okay. But as I say, yeah, that's done now, uh, rested, ready to go for the game at the weekend. Yeah. Is that just something that always happens in football, you think? One of those things, goalkeepers always get protected, you know, and the defender's always going to get the, the side of the 50-50. Has it just always been that way, or are you noticing it more and more? I don't know. I think, I think I've just noticed it over this past year, really. Um, I don't know if it's just something against me or what, I don't know. But, um, yeah, I see, they seem to get the benefit of the doubt over me. Um, but, yeah, it is what it is. I've just got to get on with it and uh, not let it get to me and uh, keep doing what I do for the team. Yeah, and then of course you sit out, but you see uh, a teammate of yours get a hat trick, and how yeah. great for him to get a, a first hat trick, Jimmy Knowles. No, brilliant! I watched the game. Uh, I was buzzing for him, watching it, screaming at the telly. Uh, Mrs. told me to calm down a bit, <laughs> but uh, no, it was brilliant. I was buzzing for him. I spoke to him after the game and said, "Well done," because um, first half was a bit. They didn't. The forwards didn't get much joy with the ball, and the second half took every chance he got. He was brilliant, um, and we had a few more chances from that. But I said to him, "No, like." Just keep your head up and you, you deserve that, do you know what I mean? At the end of the day, won the game for us and uh, now I was chuffed for him. He's still young, of course, and he's been playing most of the season, kind of turning up in FA Trophy games and, and scoring. Yeah. So how, how impressed have you been with his, the, the progress that he, he's making? Yeah, no, I think it's like with any young player. I, I've been there, a lot of people have been there. It's just that gradual process of... Um, working your way into the team and learning things. Um, the previous manager was good with him. Uh, the new manager's been brilliant with him as well and Mo. So it's just, it's just as a young player, you're just always learning. Even at my age, you're always learning. But I think he's took things on board and he's been patient with it as well, which is not easy. Um, every player wants to play games, but even me, I've tried to help him out as much as I can in the games and in training. Um, so no, I was delighted for him when he, when I saw, he uh, saw he score three um, and credit to him, the hard work pays off. You mentioned the new management. I think they've experienced every emotion so far. <laughs> a, a, a sort of disappointing first week in terms of yeah. result. They're six points out of six over Easter. It's, it's been a, a, a frantic couple of weeks. How have you found it the last two weeks? Yeah, no, it's like I say, it's been very frantic. Um, it's been tough because as a new manager, you want to come in, put your stamp down on things. And uh, with the games, the amount of games we've had, it's not been easy for them to do that. Um, so when we've been doing recovery, the process of, process of recovering as well, we're sort of walking on the pitch, going through things that they want us want to get across to us. Um, but no, today was great. Um, we had a few days off and could really work on a lot of things, get a proper session in. Uh, obviously, we were a few days off to coming in and uh, getting on with that. And it was a good session as well. And uh, it's just the boys. It, it, things take time, picking up on little things, but we'll get there. Um, and I think in the games, gradually, you see it coming off. Yeah, and you're so well placed in the league. I know that the top two are on such good form and on such great runs. But you just think if you can get a decent run as well, you should be able to put some real pressure on those at the top, shouldn't you? Yeah, no, we had a chat about it this morning. Like you say, we're in a great place. Um, it's just having that belief. Um, there's still the opportunity for that automatic, but um, we've just got to keep going game by game, getting results with a few games in hand as well, which, like you say, puts us in good stead, but we need to win them. And just like I say, take it game by game and just keep getting results and getting three points on the board every week. Good to see you back, Carl. Thank you very much. Cheers, mate. Thank you. Thank you. Carl, oh, do you remember we had a conversation about referees about <laughs> six, well, it must be about six months ago now. Yeah. <laughs> do you no, remember? funny enough, yeah. Funny enough, um, I do remember. Um, 
what I, I, I struggle to understand it. And I, I, when you speak to the referees, what do they say to you? <laughs> when you say to them, what have I done wrong? What do they say? They say you're holding the opponent. Um, basically, you're holding the opponent. But I say to them, well, if they're holding me, how am I meant to get them off me to get the ball? I said, if, the, if you're not going to um, give a foul for them holding me and me not doing anything about it, then, do you know what I mean? What do you want me to do? Just stand there and not compete for the ball? Like, that's, do you know what I mean? I'm not going to do that. So, yeah, it's frustrating. I'm glad you could see it as well. It's not just me and the few other people. Well, but... Yeah, well, I think you're the most penalised striker. It's the most pe- I think you're the most penalised striker. In my opinion, I think you're the most penalised striker in the league when it comes to... But, I, I, do you know what? I think it is, you know. I think it's the referees don't understand the position that you play. Yeah. No, that's it, yeah. I don't think they understand... It's like it's almost like if you're anybody above six foot four and you're going you're going for a header, it's, you immediately yeah. it's a foul. No, do you no, know that's what it seems like, though, yeah. doesn't it? No, absolutely, absolutely, I agree with you there. Um, but yeah, it's just it's in the end of that the sending off's gone. Um, but I'm not going to change the way I play. Um, and again, it's gone. I just got to move on from that and prepare for the next game. And hopefully, the referee gives me a bit of help the next game. <laughs> Uh, what do the rest of the players think about it? Because I know that I know we obviously the, the the fans have picked up on it, the media's picked up it. What, what yeah. do the rest of the, what the players think? No, the lads are they're totally with me and with you what you're saying. Um, but they're always onto the referees about it, uh, for official linesmen. Because at the end of the day, if I'm not going to get involved and try and stay out of it and not scrap away. Surely I've got to get a foul or some sort of free kick against them. But it's just a strange one. I really can't. Put me, put my foot on it. Um, so yeah, I've just got to keep, keep calm and patient, and hopefully it'll turn the other way. <laughs> I, I presume you never had this problem in the football league, did you? Do, no. <laughs> have you noticed a marked difference between the, the level of officiating then, in that respect? Yeah, yeah, you could say that. Um, <laughs> I think, You're being polite, aren't you? <laughs> I think um, I've never been. Um, given as many fouls as I had since I've come into the National League. So, put it that way, basically. But, um, yeah, no, like I say, it's frustrating, but what can you do? Um, the lads get onto the referees, the four official linesmen. Um, it's not really changed much on certain certain games. So, you just got to stay focused and, like I say, just keep calm and patient and hopefully things will change for me. Um, and I, I know you got sent off and it will all be unfairly, but... Mm. Did, did the rest come at a good time for you? Did, uh, were you starting to feel a bit tired? Because yeah. it looked like it in a couple of games. Yeah, no, definitely. I think you can be as fit as you can. Like, I am a fit guy, but it's going to catch up with you, that match sharpness and things like that. And uh, But you want to play every game. Um, so I think in that game, I think like the last half an hour into the second half, my hamstring was getting really tight. So... I think it did come, like even though obviously I didn't want that to happen at all, but I think oh. it has come at a good time for me to, and fair play to the manager and Mo, they gave me a few days off just to reset and refresh. So um, no, I'm really grateful for that and I'm just delighted to be back and buzzing to go for the next game. Um, I mean, obviously you're, I think, second top scorer in the National League this season. Well, uh, you must be fairly thrilled with how it's how it's panned out, albeit the referees yeah no yeah you could say that I think well you can always be better and I think we could always um, do more I think um, just the last few games we've just lacked that bit of creativity and then it was the other the, obviously the recent game where Jimmy scored three I thought brilliant because to, to be fair the defend, their defenders I saw they was getting tired and they made mistakes but credit to him the finishes he's got to put the ball in the net and I said that to him it's brilliant like all, all well they're doing they give you the ball but you've got to anticipate that and put the ball in the net. So, yeah. I mean, I was looking at your record, your goals record on soccer boats the other day. It's pretty remarkable. It, it, funny enough, quite... uh, my dad spoke to me the other day and he looked on that soccer base, I think, is it? And my yeah. brother and they said, oh, no, like, when you look at it, goals to game, it is pretty good. So Yeah, it's ridiculous, I've not yeah. uh, actually thought of it like that, but um, hopefully the next game or the next few games I can get back, back amongst the goals. So, yeah. I mean, how much are you sort of loving your time at, at, at Knott's? Oh, no, it's brilliant. I think it's. Um, I'm at the age where it's just. It has brought the best out of me the way we play, how the club works. I really, really enjoy my football and loving it here. And um, yeah, I just really, really desperately want to get the club back where it belongs in the Football League, as all the boys do. So um, 
hopefully this year's the year we can do that.